Hello everybody, this is Drake Gamer back for part 2 of the last 16 round. And yes, we got two more matches for you to tuck into here. Starting off with Random Shy Ghost going up against Lauren Seal. And then Adolf Adams taking a crack at MEJP7. Like this, the bracket at the top has seen kind of the few, kind of the most surprise result. Oh no! Like I didn't think Random, well this one's kind of, you know, 50-50. This one I did with no surprise. This one I kind of expected seven shots to win, and this one I definitely expected Heady to win. So this matchup is like the surprise matchup because I didn't expect it to happen. But yes, looking forward to these two matches. But we are starting off with Random Shy Ghost taking on Lawrence Steele. Well, as they saw in part one, no matter how many matches you win in the group stage, all it takes is one slip up in the knockout round, and it's all over. Right. In the red corner, for Random Shy Ghost, we have a Spinosaurus. Random Shy Ghost getting a good win over Marissa Kurosami in the last 32 round to set this match, to set up this match. Skip! Right, as for Lauren Steele in the blue corner, we got Super Para. Super Duper Para. Lauren dominating against Moors in the last 32 round to book her place in the last 16. The winner of this match will go through to the quarterfinal and will be one of the top, one of the regarded top eight sides. Should I do a tournament in future, you will all automatically be grouped. Right, let's do this. Ooh, that's a tie. <laughs> How many green impulses did we see from Paris last time out? Oh, two ties, not a single green impulse. Are you okay, Paris? Three ties, no green impulse. I'm actually genuinely shocked, but it is Paris that gets the first hit. Ah, no, I did it again. Oh, oh, here comes another hit from Paris. This is a good start from Lauren Steele. But the Aqua Vortex has been triggered. That's twice. Ooh, we're going to see some Aqua Vortex nuts. Just in time for the Awaken mode. Well, again, if Paris gets this next hit, then Spinosaurus is going down anyway, so it doesn't really matter, I suppose. But nullifying all those moves just when it's wait, wait time, so there'll be no chance for Green Impulse. The timing of that was key. And the timing of this Futaba Cannon couldn't be better. Look at that. After a slow start, Random Shy Ghost pulling it back. Boosh. Chance missed there, I think. Oh, maybe not. That is that is a 1-0 lead for Lauren Steele. And she has a good chance here to extend it because Shy Ghost's second Dino is Stegosaurus with the tight disadvantage against that Paris. Although Paris is on like no health, so any hit from this Steg is going to kill her. But if Paris can get a cheap hit, you know, could land some major damage. And she does still have the Dino Stuffer to protect her, so going Scissors would be a good move. And she did, does indeed go scissors. No fawn whip though. Luck not with Lauren this time. Well, in terms of getting off green impulse and fawn whip. And yeah, there goes Paris. But she did her work. Chipped away at the Steg's health. And is the reason why Lauren has this lead. Right the ho there. As for Lauren's second Dino, it is Carnotaurus. Carnotaurus was ba was basically a finisher in the in the last 32 round. Um, I haven't seen too much of it to be honest. It's mainly either been a finisher or it's just been swept. <laughs> Wonder what it'll be this time. A ninja attack will definitely test the Stegosaurus' endurance and will probably kill it. Oh, oh, a hit there from the car now. Lauren extending her lead. 
has a decent amount of damage. There, this Kano is attack type, by the way, so it will do a decent amount of damage. Oh, that's a tie. Ties don't really favour anyone. Well, maybe they favour Lauren because she got the lead in that. And as I say, you, every round becomes a tie, then eventually Shy Ghost's team will die. Well, speaking of dying, down goes the stag. Lauren extending her lead and looking good to getting into the quarterfinals. Right, let's not count Shy Ghost out yet because they still have this might of Megalosaurus. And well, we all know how powerful secret dinosaurs can be, but again, Lauren has a secret dino of her own left to use in the tank, so... Definitely on top here, Lauren, but... Don't count, don't count random Shy Guy out yet. They can turn this around. Well, not if they don't get any hits. And this Carnotaurus is actually doing something. Ooh, the type advantage probably saving Megalosaurus from taking too much damage. Oh, oh, there's another hit. Yeah, I, I think Shy Ghost is done, yeah? I think they race his run. Lauren completely on top. Come on, give him at least... No. <laughs> give him at least one hit game, come on. Well, they did the hard bit and took out Super Paris, but only to be basically swept by the Carno. Which has done basically nothing for Team Lauren until now. But it is the reason why Lauren Steele has won this match. And it is a passage to the quarterfinal round. Well, I wouldn't want to be Emmy or Adolf Adams. <laughs> Considering that Lauren actually beat Emmy already in this tournament. But anyway, that's a match for another time. On to our second and final match of this session. And that, that, as I said, sees Adolf Adams taking on Amy JP10. Right, in the red corner, for Adolf Adams, we have got a polar canvas. Our orange local hero here, the wild, the orange wild child for Team Adolf. And, well, amazingly, has done pretty well, actually. In fairness to it, he's done really well. In fact, Adolf Adams has done really well in this tournament in general. Given that his team is basically full of wild childs, Here's another combatant that has really surprised me, really stacked up for Emmy JP10 with their Alpha Kentrosaurus. And yet yeah, again, Emmy's been really, really stacked up since the last tournament where they didn't win a match. And like the win over Hedy was probably the shock of the last 16 round, 32 rounds, sorry. I, I, I didn't see it coming. I thought Hedy was going to win comfortably. Shame on me for court predicting these matches. <laughs> Well, it's Adolf Adams getting off to the good start there, getting the first hit. So yeah, these two have been the surprise packages in terms of how well they've done. More, more um, Emmy in particular, given how badly they did in the last tournament compared to how they're doing now. Like, and if they win this match, they will get a top 8 finish, which means they will automatically be placed in a group whenever I do my next tournament, if I do one. But there's the sand trap from Adolf Adams here. From the canvas, yet again, looking good. Oh, oh. Oh, oh wow, another sand trap. And that's a 1 0 lead for Adolf Adams. Kentrosaurus' hopes of surviving this have sunk. Literally, because he's sunk in sand. Oh, come on, it survived! Wow, okay. Uh, didn't expect it to survive that, but there we go. Can this Kendrosaurus land a cheeky hit? Oh, it does! Well, the tie bomb's kind of useless, because I don't think it's going to go off now, even if there is a tie, because the Kendrosaurus will die in the tie, and the bomb won't go off, it'll just disappear. Oh, we're going to find out. Yeah, it's just going to disappear, isn't it? Ooh. Now, Emmy could be in a bit of a pickle here, but again, this Pentaceratops does only has Thunder Driver, and that only gets triggered after you win, so... And I think one hit from this Pentaceratops will probably be enough to kill the Polacanthus. But, as I said, it is a 1-0 lead for Adolf Adams. 
and they extend it. Okay, yeah, the tie bomb disappears. <laughs> Bit unfair, isn't it? Oh, well, there's the hit from the Pentaceratops. Oh, it's not enough, but it can stop Adolf Adams from getting off sand traps. Because the, the Power Polar Canvas will not be able to survive a tie. Well, it's kind of a waste, but, you know, whatever it takes to kill it, I guess. Sorry about that. <laughs> At the hands of the door. <laughs> Terrible. Oh, wow, poor Polar Canvas is, like, rammed into the ground. He's like, help, I'm shinking. Right. Now for Adolf Adams' second world child, we got the Arinoceratops. Imagine if this team actually wins this tournament. It'd be amazing, wouldn't it? It's one of my fa they one of it's one of my favourite teams in this tournament, this for Adolf Adams' team. It's just dinosaurs that you just don't expect to see people use. Not because they're bad, but you know, it's because they're like Kind of forgettable, I, sh I would say, rather than bad. It's like you don't care about them. Like, hell, I didn't even know that a Rhinoceratops was in this game until I played the DS game and I just got it randomly. I was like, wait, what the frick is this? Well, this Rhinoceratops is, ma is making itself be remembered here. Landing some damage on the Pentaceratops and extending Adolf, Adam, Ad Adolf Adams' his lead. Can this Penta strike back though? Well, so far, he's not getting the chance. Oh, well, till now. There's a hit from the Penta. Crucial hit back a beat. Oh, the Counter Blitz has been triggered. <laughs> Okay, this is, bas this is basically a 2-1 lead for Adolf Adams. But, what will happen? Will it be a tie? Will Adolf get the hit? Or will Adolf get the counter blitz? The answer to that is that Adolf will get the hit. And it's a 2-1 lead for Adolf Adams. Looking strong going into the quarter-final rounds. But, he hasn't got there yet. Gotta get past this Super Barry first. But as I said, he does the Rhinoceratops. Stacked with elemental power, and it now has the type advantage over this Barry. But the only water move this Barry has is Hydro Cutter. However, Hydro Cutter gets triggered after the Barry loses, so. Yeah, lots of stipulations. Lemmy getting a hit. They need to come back in this match. I believe the Awaker mode's on three. I'd better double check just to be on the safe side. Well. Thankfully, I know it's not one. Yeah, wake mode on three. Well, Baryonyx coming back. Getting Emmy JT10 back in this match. One more hit will finish the Barry, the, the Orionoceratops, and we'll be level packed in. With the Awaker mode to come from the Baryonyx as well, that could be key to decide who wins this match. Boosh! Oh, down goes Rhinoceratops, and we are level pecking. Right, now for Adolf Adams' third world child. We got the little sauropod with the big heart. Yes, you've guessed it, it's God Wanna Titan. <laughs> I, I don't know where I got that from, but I just, I, that's just how I see it. It's a little sauropod with a big heart. Imagine if it did actually have an oversized heart in real life. <laughs> It'd be so funny, but no. I love it, it's, it's, it's cute. This is the one sauropod I want to make in Just World Evolution 2. And I'm going to do it. So I love it. Oh, but it's not in a good stead now. MEJE 10 landing consecutive hits. Neck is going to do damage to it. And now it's awakening time. MEJE 10 with a chance to win. Was a tie, but again, that suits Emmy down to the ground. Can Adolf Adams secure the hit? Oh, 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 they've gone, what a titan! Oh, it's, oh, it's over! The little sauropod just could not do it, could not stand up to a baryonyx, and it is Emmy GP10 going through to the quarterfinals. Wow. From Group 
finishing bottom of their group last time to quarter finalists this time. What a massive jump. Massive jump. Although, it is a rematch with Lauren Steele to look forward to. Can they get revenge for their group stage defeat against her? Or will Lauren dominate that match like she did last time? All those questions will be answered during that quarterfinal video. Which will be, well, should be soon. Will be soon, actually. Right, we'll have a look at the brackets and end the session. Well, another dominant display in the knockout round for Lauren Steele. Sees her go through to the quarterfinals. And another impressive display from MEJP10 coming from behind to defeat Adolf Adams' Wild Child team, which is kind of a shame because I really like that team. Real shame. But, you know, they got to the last 16. I think, I think we could be proud of that Wild Child team. And it will always be remembered as the Wild Child team. So there you go. There's consolation prize for you. But yes, we have a quote. We have a rematch from the group stage with Lauren Steele yet again going up against MEJP10. Something I was hoping to avoid, but, you know, there we are. But yeah, that is it. Now we got we got two of the four quarterfinal matchups who will also book their place in the quarterfinals. You're gonna have to find out in the next part. Well, and the one after that, because <laughs> they got another two parts to go through yet. So stay tuned for next time where we will have LP Gozzi going up against Moloch Horridus and Pilk going up against Xeno Slick Goku. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer signing it.